and this is an exclusive video from WOLnews.com. We're talking to assistant head coach and defensive coordinator uh, uh, Steve Weiser, and uh, wow, uh, uh, Lycoming wins 31-7. Uh, Widener is a tough team, and they come in here and uh, and a 14-7 at halftime. A uh, number of defensive turnovers. You you have to be pretty excited. We're real excited. I tell you what, uh, I mean, it's always a great game. It's a big rivalry game, and uh, I mean they come up here, they're undefeated in the league. I mean we're, we're playing to stay in first place, and uh, kids just did a great job. I mean they just you know we made a few mistakes there right before the half that we weren't happy about, but uh, you know we adjusted that, and the kids there you know, got back to playing the way they did the uh, first probably quarter and uh, and three quarters, and uh, uh, made some plays. And that's what we tell them. And I said let the plays come to you and, and uh, you know I mean just you know Roger Jane or number 41 what a great play not only is he making a tackle strips the ball and gets a turnover there we had some great hits and uh, you know Ray Beerbach is just he does not only does he do a great job making some plays back here obviously the touchdown play but he's making some great calls out there we're mixing some uh, coverages in he does a good job you know Ron Fenningham had a good day just you know some just really positive things you know we had uh, Chris Kish out and it's like you know I told the kids this week we talked to his coaches hey you know we um Lost uh, Jim Daly beginning of the season, a four-year starter. We adjusted. We lost Chris Kish this week. You know, Chris had a concussion. He'll be back next week. You know, and, and our guys adjusted. And uh, and they just we're just so proud of him. And you know, and we're fortunate here. I mean, I know I'm fortunate. You know, sometimes you get a lot of credit, but you know, I got some great coaches. You know, Coach Weber's been with me a long time. And I wanted to mention that Steve Radichide, Denny Hammond, Andrew Cohen's helping us up from uh, this year with the linebackers of Bucknell, and then uh, Greg Myers is helping the secondary. And that, and that makes a difference. You have, I mean, it's just one. One whole group just working hard to get better, and it's it's exciting with the turnovers and hit some good hits out there, and. Um you know, Cabongo, okay, did an unbelievable job. Uh, we've been working him the last two weeks. I mean, you want to get your athletes on the field. I mean, he made some great plays defensively, but what a great play. I mean, that, on that punt, that that was a turning point. I mean, that ball's gone. That guy made a great run, number uh, two, and he came back. Not only did he make the tackle, he makes a strip. So uh, it was exciting today, John. Yeah, uh... Uh, Ratichai and uh, Mike Weber. Uh, uh, Ratichai, what offensive line? Uh, no, Steve Ratichai is working with the defensive line. Okay. Uh, Denny or, or Hammond defense. Helps. Yep, yeah, Denny right. Hammond helps out volunteers, and you got Mike Weber uh, and uh, uh, you know Andrew Cohen working with the linebackers, and then Greg Meyer back here working the secondary. So it's uh, it's exciting. Some real good things are going on. Well, it's a test to see uh, where you're at compared to some of the other teams. I guess there's a big test coming up now you can look towards next week. Absolutely. I, I know the kids are excited about it. They're going to enjoy the, the day here today. And then tomorrow we, uh, we get back to work and, uh, you know, and, and get ready for uh, Delaware Valley. I mean, that's going to be exciting. And you know, the big thing the guys have been doing here, I mean, it's, as I said to you before a couple of times, we keep the focus on ourselves. I mean, we're going to be excited about that game. But you know what? We're excited about us. I mean, it's about us taking steps forward and getting better and when you do that I, I think you know you, you keep things going in the right direction you don't get too high you don't get too you know down too low and you play a team that's maybe not uh, doing as well so okay well uh, nice game uh, enjoy the weekend and uh, we'll see you midweek well it's gonna be a great way hey, and what a great day to have this one with uh, coach G and Rob going to the Hall of Fame and 85 and 90 it was, it was a great show uh, put on by all three phases offense special team defense and thanks for your coverage John appreciate it. thank you